Okay, so this time I'm going to have a look at what kind of bugs I have in my race. So I've made uh, a post before about finding gnats in cat grass and uh, bean weevils in uh, dry beans. So this time I'll record it in a video, uh, pick out the bugs myself, uh, put them on a surface, use the uh, little uh, Amazon not for internal use, internal use endoscope that I only ever use really as a handy little USB microscope. It's actually been pretty cool for looking close up at detail, uh, like cat grass after my cats have eaten it. And I think I looked at Doritos once. Those were pretty cool. So a handy little device for uh, messing around. I think I might have seen these kind of bugs before in rice. But I think because they're such large bags and I left them uh, still for so long, you know, the bugs eventually showed up. Maybe in the past I just thought it was a black little piece of rice and I still ate it. Anyways, bit of a gross detail. But um, when back when I found out there were the bean weevils and the dried beans, I separated everything into different containers to quarantine. So that's why everything, all the rice, is in the same container. And uh, that's why I know these bugs, which look different from the rice and not something else. Actually, now that I've opened everything up, uh, they're still alive. You can still see them moving. Some of them are pretty dead. The living ones seem to be in the rice, though. So right now, let's see if this little endoscope do the trick. So the thing actually does pretty much function like a webcam. Just have to adjust the focus carefully. So you see, I can see the rice, but I think ah, here's a little bug here. And just the focus, you can see it crawling around. So they must be able to survive in there. At any rate, I'll throw the whole stuff away. Maybe they'll survive in the trash. Oh well. But I wouldn't eat this rice. Not that I'm such a big rice eater. But uh, I don't think I could rinse out the bugs. I don't know, I'm sure I've eaten them in the past, but it still feels a bit weird. But anyways, um, there are plenty of dead ones in the bottom of the uh, the thing, so I don't really need to uh, kill any. So the live ones and the rice, I'll just leave as is and throw them in the trash. Uh, so for this uh, examination session, I have my uh, fine... tweezers, a uh, piece of paper for a viewing surface, so we'll equip there. So let's have a look now at the, the thing here. All right. So, oh, here we go. So it's a, uh, what's the best way to do this? Uh, spin around a bit. have to go in the top view. So they got a long body. They have antenna. It's USB endoscope. Oops. Uh, can adjust the light. Okay, so brighter does help a little bit to see some of that detail. But it seems to be lying on its back now. And you can see this is pretty handy. Just carefully adjust the focus. Oops. 
And this is how... Ooh. Now, I haven't done this oh, <laughs> live on video before, but... Oh, yeah, I did it before was just to uh, focus on until I got a good shot. See, it shakes a bit. Because right, um, to adjust the focus, there's a knob that I have to twist. Okay. Anyways, I think I can see there's a head. Seems to be uh, another part of the body. It's been a while. I forget how these parts and insects are called. Then there's a larger uh, thorax of the abdomen. Yeah, so it's a kind of thin, narrow little thing. Ah, there you go. Ah, dirty little uh, tweezers. Let's see if I can flip that guy over. Oh. Oh, maybe a little bit. Okay, I think I flipped them. It's a long body of insect, I'd say. Six legs. And an antenna. Well, I think I've got a pretty decent look. So, right now, I guess I could have another look at him if I need to. But I'm going to go open up the Wikipedia and see if I can find anything. Find a rice bug. Okay, this doesn't look quite look like it. No, that doesn't quite look like it either. That doesn't quite look like it either. I'm not sure it was a panical stage. No, maybe this third one. I don't know. Okay, number two. Oh, 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 this looks interesting. Uh, not really. Uh, much, much longer antenna. Let's go with a rice weevil. I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's got a weird snout thing. Ugh. Well. It's a bit disturbing. Let's see if our little guy is it's a bit like that. I'm looking for some kind of snouter. I kind of worry maybe this guy maybe is misshaped or something. So if I get another one, a companion, maybe get a better idea. Got two other specimens. Make sure if they all look the same. Hmm. A weird snout. Ah, so that's the guy there. Okay, so back to googling for a awesome candidate. I admit they look sort of similar. A rice weevil. Just got that weird snout. Can the pantry bugs harm you if uh, you eat them in your food? Here's a rice weevil without a snout. It's a confused flower beetle. 
this might be a rice weevil without a snout for some reason. And I think I wonder it would be maybe when they die the snout folds or something. I know snout. Huh. Okay. Bit paranoid. Uh, I'm really not seeing a snout. Really cool chasing that around. Not sure why they're panicked. Well, they're probably not used to the whole thing moving around so much. Yeah, there's no. Seem to be a snout. Hmm. Weevil. Do the insects have a snout? Ah, okay. Can the insects walk up the side of a glass jar? Are the insects cylindrical? I don't know if they can... They kind of fell down. So they're either... Fire beetles or sawtooth grain beetle. Okay, let's see. Sawtoothed grain beetle? Where's the other guy? Sawtooth Green Beetle. I don't know if that's on Wikipedia. Oh, there's teeth apparently. Teeth running down the side of the protorth prothorax. So that's the thing I wasn't sure what it was called. Teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. There are some teeth here. How about this guy? Yeah, there's some teeth. Yeah, these are... This might be the guy, then. The sawtooth green beetle. Common worldwide pest of grain and grain products. So that's chocolate, drugs, and tobacco. Oh, rice lover. That was kind of fun. Yeah, so I was able to find those guys, put them on a piece of paper, and use this uh, fun little USB endoscope to, <laughs> with the help of Google, identify what the bugs were. So there you go. Hope that was interesting. Uh, see ya.